it's hard to figure out exactly where to start because we kind of forgot to. It's crazy. Our fucking bread and butter of what kind of like got us famous. Uh, are we going to be able to go to my my pit my pit police? Not pit police, but uh, pit evidence. I don't even know what to call that. But we'll that, be able to do say. whatever. We'll be able to do whatever we want, dude. I, that's my only request. I know that well, you had a full docket, but like if if that's not on it, if we can just make a little room. For I know that. it's completely. Pat, the pit police will take on the case, but the Warp Tour Special Victims Unit also needs to do a lot of work today. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. no, this, I, I, this has been on our desk for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been kind of ignoring this case. You know, <laughs> you know how they talk about how there's like hundreds of uh, unanalyzed rape kits. <laughs> this is fun. it's because of us. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is our bad. Sorry, guys. Well, no, I, I mean, we kind of forgot to talk about it when it was a little more topical. Like the podcaster in me wants to focus on topical shit, but it's kind of you know, like I said, considering what got us famous. Yeah, when is this? When is this? Not, when is this not topical though? <laughs> this, case. you know what well, I mean? Like, know. give it a week. But uh, no, so uh, we forgot to talk about it like a week or two ago when it happened. But Tillian is officially out of Dance Gavin Dance. Officially, like, officially, because that was tentatively. I gotta be honest. Like with how much we talked about Tillian, we sort of uh, cut our teeth in those episodes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. Really made our bones. You know, got it's I it's really depressing what uh episodes have the most views. I'll just put it that way. I'll I'll tell you what, that is truly when the lake got drunk. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I'll put it this way. Anti flag, let's give me something else. The views are low. Yeah. Guys, you got you um, guys fucking ducked out and left. You didn't even give us any meat. There's no meat one, on that one bone. week of that oh, shit. One week of that shit. The there was still meat on that bone. We could have we could have fucking plucked right off of that. We, we were got, able to we were able to milk go, Dance bye. Gavin. We were able to milk Dance Gavin Dance for like a month, and you guys are out of there in one fucking day. I had this whole fun thing where I was going to be you on the stand, where you're calling her a turncoat liar thief. <laughs> and, it's, and it's like you didn't even give us the satisfaction of having a trial, man. Come on, da, 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 you raped da, 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 my butt. <laughs> <laughs> no, She's so a liar. You- <laughs> thief of my innocence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Tillian is officially out of the band, which is yeah. the most, this has to be the most interesting way to like kick a dude out of the band for doing what he did. And we've talked about it before. I, 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 I got, I, I reminded myself of all the info. Basically, I think our gen, correct me if I'm wrong. I know you were like, all of it was good to go, but my general assessment, <laughs> you were like, Remember you're that? like, you're like grass on the field, play ball. I was like, Pat, how's this apply? Um, yeah, I was I, I, honestly, it sounds like me, but I, I don't remember saying that. But I guess <laughs> yeah, you know what? I can't rule it out. No, I guess I'll be straight up. The gen, my general vibe on the situation. I was I read all the I read all the testimonies and the the yep. the the post everyone was doing all of the it, proceedings. Yes. Yeah, it felt like it felt like the first occurrence while he wasn't being while he wasn't being the chillest of dudes. Yeah, I I think you know I'm not gonna. The first one didn't seem like I'm gonna really you know lock him up and throw away the key. I'll put gotcha. it that way. Yeah, but then the second one, you uh, a, you're, you're getting a you're getting a yellow card, right? Yeah, yeah. Card. There was enough gray area that I was like, I can't I can't put him away for this one. There's but honestly, too- we're watching you, buddy. Yeah, that's, that's one of those things. We're like we're we got our eye on you. That's the and best you, way to put it. I can't. Gonna- I don't. It's too gray. I'm not. I don't got enough to lock you up. We're right. keeping an eye on you, and, and then, honestly, we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna keep you uh we're gonna keep surveillance on you so because you're a, a flight risk. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like one yeah. of those things. Are like we're gonna have a car tailing you, but you're not guilty. It's like when they do that shit, and you're like, wait, isn't that isn't that what you do to guilty people? And you're like, we don't think you're guilty, but you're not not guilty. Yeah, and then uh and then the second one because this yeah. is the thing a lot people always people only remember the one. There was actually two at the time, but the reason people don't remember the second one is because contrary to how he handled the first one, the first one he was like, I got a whole book for you explaining why this bitch is lying. Dude, this whole like I, it, it wasn't like a two page thing. Bro, you know, it you- was it was it was like a, a thick pamphlets worth of information. Yeah. So on the second one, he was like, I'm really sorry and I apologize. And you're like, oh, that was a lot less info. Yeah. You ain't got no more details. You don't got any details about how you didn't do it. Now, I, 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 if I may, if I could be devil's bro, uh, may so fucking hard on me. Can I uh, just be a little de- devil's advocate for you? Hooah! 
I'm devil's advocate. Okay. Thank you. Uh, if I'm being devil's advocate for you, I, I'm what did maybe possibly he learned from that first post that that's not how you fucking handle it. You just go and you go, eh, sorry, bye. I have to officially say that I didn't do it, but also, or is this a rope dope thing where just all these sexual assaults just keep fucking hitting them against the ropes and he just, he just can't do anymore. And, and like he's, he's basically been fighting it so much that now he's fucking so tired that they're just like, Oh yeah. He also raped me. And then he's just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he can't defend himself anymore because he's just like, I, I can't keep, I, I don't have, everything and also maybe i was drunk and maybe it was this My, this seems like the one that he would be like hey i've had i can't remember I, I you might have to refresh my memory i apologize about the the past one did he do any kind of rehab at the time was he in a substance well, that rehab? was the funniest part that was the funniest part because all the acts all the um accusations were like hey man you said you're a sexual assaulter what the hell yeah. is that and tillian was right you know what you're right. I apologize. I will go to rehab for alcohol. And you're okay. like, that's yeah. not I what <laughs> rehab. I oh, yeah. So yeah, he he did the big apology and the he played the rehab card already. So he doesn't have any more. He has nothing else. He can't. So yeah. even, so this actually, and if I may, uh, and this is he's this court of public opinion at this point. This is only allegations and uh all accusations, speculation, if I may, uh Johnny Cochran, yeah. Devil's advocate. Ooh, <laughs> I'm still Pat, doing it. I love you. Get to the fucking point. <laughs> but <laughs> I forgot. That's why. <laughs> I got a few other voices to do but, first, Andy. But, but he has no. He has nothing. He has nothing else. Is what I'm saying. He he's basically I he's think... played all of his his uh, elements. And like this is if you if you call you know uh, what is it? Trick me once, fool me once. You get you. Shame yeah. me, but he, fool me he, twice. He, it's like I think you may be a soldier. Here's my theory. Here's my theory. I think the first one, I think the gray area. I think it was a lot of gray area, like a lot of gray area. And Tillian, I think Tillian looked at that and goes, "You got no fucking case." Yeah. And then the second one, I think the girl was like, "I have a very good case," and but she's like, "I'm not going to press charges," and he's just trying to be like. I'm going to be so nice to you <laughs> and keep you happy. That's yeah. just my, I have no clue if that's reality. That's my assessment off the information I receive. But do you think they know more than us? Like, do you think it, there is think the people involved know more than us? Well, no, 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 not that. I'm saying dance, Gavin dance. Like, do they hundred yeah, like, percent? They probably were. They like, buddy, they and, probably, and he's like, I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to be straight up. They're probably going purely based off what will get them in the most trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're, they're just like, you know what, dude, we, you're just at this point, you're just a liability. You're, you know what I mean? Like we can't, yeah. you're, you're going to be doing this. You need but, to get help. Go get help. You're out of yeah. the band. We can't, yeah. we can't, and we can't have this thing where you're like, maybe you'll be back. Maybe. Well, because, here, 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 let's, let's slow down a little bit because we also got to include like, let's slow down from the actual, like kicking them out. Because this is what makes him getting like kicked out so interesting okay. is because when it first initially happened, remember, he was like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go uh, to fuck it. Everyone was like, hey, we're really mad you sexually assaulted girl. And he was like, I got it. I'll go to drug. I'll go to alcohol yeah, abuse. Right. Rehab. You'll quit it, drinking. You're absolutely right. You're right. I will quit <laughs> drinking. And that's the problem we're talking about is my drinking. And right. everyone was like, what? And then he's like, don't worry. Don't worry. Can't hear you in rehab. Can't hear you. Bye. We're not allowed to have phones here. Sorry. And so, ah, and so they were, comment, but I can't. and they were all like, he's healing. And then they did the tour with their new guitarist. And yeah. I always, I talked about this on the full album reaction I did for jackpot juicer. And it was, I always found it very interesting. It's like, dude, it's like Tillian wrote those lyrics knowing he was going to fuck up. Yeah. Cause they really, they have a lot of lyrics about like, don't turn your back on your friends. And there's like, there's a lot of lyrics you can equate to cancel culture and all this other interesting stuff. And I really do think that had some element to do with it where they went about it the certain type of way. Mm -hmm. And then they brought him back in for another tour. Like when it kind of died down a little bit, they kind of quietly brought him back in for another tour. And then they're kind of like letting it down, letting it die down. And I just find it very interesting that like, cause I'm curious what you think about this, but cause I can't tell. I'm like, 
kicking him out in this way way later, it was like it, you're almost like were they planning on kicking him out the whole time? But because he's like a long term friend, they're going, we're going to try to do it in a softer way that Wait. may not fuck you as hard. Yeah, this might this uh, this almost seems like a we have to stop enabling this behavior kind of thing. We're doing this for your own good move. You know what I mean? Not like not this doesn't. So like the stuff with the rehab, the stuff with all that other stuff was like maybe felt like maybe it felt like I don't know at the time of like uh, of Tillian being abandoned by them by saying like you you know take care of your stuff you know you still have a place in the band but you you know just handle what's going on like we 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 have you we got your back we still want to release you think that's being abandoned no no I wonder if he thought that was being abandoned do you know what I mean so like maybe there was a bit of a resentment already there and then when this comes up maybe there was some kind of resentment uh building between them but not necessarily resentment in the way of like we hate you now it's like this thing of like i'm tired so i have reliability dealt with, i've dealt i've dealt with addiction in my families before like like there's people that have been to the you point you uh donuts right <laughs> not just that like airport the, donuts yeah airport donuts uh, uh gas station rest stop donuts anything but also <laughs> like with like people with like pills and shit and like drug other shit where they're like they just end up it sucks to say because like i'm obviously more heartless of a human being or cold hearted maybe <sighs> logical thinking in a lot of cases but like they just really become pieces of fucking shit dude like mm -hmm. they like your most loved one. i get why most people can't stop helping their family in those cases but when the more you're helping them the more you're actually just continuing that behavior and maybe the band saw that and was like you gotta fucking go dude and we're and and yeah, maybe and we, can't, we can't have this open because they they maybe feel like he rushed his like i don't it doesn't even sound like he doesn't it doesn't sound like he necessarily the problem is just his substance abuse problems he does have actual issues with maybe uh he needs he does need help and also maybe there he does need, need to be investigated like can i say this it because it something is leading to this but either way hey, them hey, like supporting him and standing behind him may just be enabling this no 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 i i here's what i think it is because i don't think it's anything about like substance abuse or anything because like no dance gavin dance as a whole is like on record as dudes who like to get fucked up like they constantly talk about smoking weed and doing coke and stuff like that and this isn't me this isn't me shitting on their basis but their basis died from fentanyl because he was doing coke and i got no pro i got no problem with people doing coke i'm not even like shitting on that i'm just saying dance gavin dance has a track record of partying and shit like that yeah. i think what it more so is is dance gavin dance going like dude you're too much of a fucking liability to us yeah you yeah. know and but you're our friend so we'll kick you out in a way that has better optics we won't make it look like we just turned on you the second it happened we'll do a slow roll on kicking you out so i'm wondering were they planning on kicking him out from day fucking one i don't know because why will why wait until the second accusation comes out like were they just like next one like you're on a final written notice and next, next fucking no, thing no no i'm not saying you're i'm not saying it was a warning i'm saying rather than we'll kick you out immediately because yeah. that kind of looks impulsive like you're not being a good friend i'm saying yeah. i'm saying like okay here's what we're going to do we're going to do this to hopefully and I'm not saying they necessarily even succeeded with this. I'm more it's saying true. like I'm more yeah. saying like what their plan was. Well, like you'll go to rehab. We'll do a tour with you. We'll keep good optics, and then when we're kind of taking a break after a couple months, we'll just quietly kick you out of the band. Right. And I'm wondering if they're like I. I'm just curious if they decided this a while ago, or yeah, yeah that's that's like my only question. Yeah, I think I I think it's just interesting. Just uh, if that was the case, why wait for the second accusation to come out before you? Like, unless just to say, like, 
like we know something else is going to come out. So oh, you're, you keep you're, you're, saying about the second accusation that came out during the whole thing. It's okay. not like it's okay. I, I didn't realize the second accusation didn't come out like last week. I thought that was the thing like that. came no, out. No, no, no. You're out. You know yeah. I mean? Okay. I didn't realize. Okay. I didn't realize I didn't make that clear enough from the get go. Second accusation was like around the same time. Oh, then yeah, that then yes, your theory. I agree with because okay. that's, because that's the thing of like, I thought maybe this just came out and I was like, I thought maybe the the reaction was them going like, buddy, like we fucking had that your makes back way, the last one. That makes way more sense because I was feeling crazy. Like, am I not explaining this right? Yeah, you, yeah, you literally were. And I wasn't. And, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it <laughs> hey, And I'm not. Cat, you fucking dickheads. <laughs> A lot of stuff. No, I think we're, no, I, I agree. I, I think that's the thing of like uh, the, when you have that, that, that reaction after months of nothing and just out of nowhere just to be like okay yeah now you're fired like yeah either again either something else came out maybe they had an agreement they said you're not getting better you're a piece of shit uh whatever it is uh but i think your theory could totally be the case too because at that point let's just say let's just say timing wise let's just say timing wise for where the band was at that time they had this big triumphant tour coming up they had this new album that was coming out that we're all really proud of. It was also going to be dedicated to this member that they lost, that they were like so sad about that there was no real controversy. It was just drug overdose, you know, hey, but we party, you know, we love this guy, you know, no controversy, no sexual assaults. And then all of a sudden, boom. And it's yeah. like, and they had to like quick fix it. They did. They felt like they did, but then maybe either they felt like they're still getting pressure, but and also that would also lend to this is what I was thinking as you were explaining that. Um, uh, finally, there was a uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was a thing uh, where like maybe that last tour was kind of like them going like, all right, dude, like they knew they were going to kick him out, but they're like, we'll bring you back. You can make some money like and then we're going to fucking kick you to the curb well, because like it might have just been a, not not like a like a almost like a retirement plan. Like, here you go, bud. Well, I think also too, like long, like optics matter for like long term, uh, like for this dude staying in the music industry, like optics matter where it's almost the fact that like they kicked if they, if the fact that they kept him around and then they did more tours with him and all these other bands did tours with him, there's now, you know, I think he's still long term, like, you know, the best he'll hope for is like, I'm, I'm guessing the best that'll come from now on is like, He's going to be in some moderately popular bands or this and that. He's kind of, I think he's kind of cooked for being in like a big band anymore. Cause there is like, there's a certain, there's a certain point I feel like with, you know, what happens when you fucking Google him and he didn't get like big, big before any of this happened. I would be surprised if, you know, any big time bands give him a chance like that. Uh, but I could still see him sort of coming out dude, with dude. some smaller acts. Uh, you know, again, we don't want to give all of our Austin plans away. We can't. I mean, we're streaming live, but you guys are. You know, we're fans. He'll be the he'll be the lead singer. Ooh. We got a drummer. We got a bass player. We got the rhythm section, right? Rhythm section's already. He plays guitar, right? I don't know. He does now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? How funny would it be for us to hire Tillian, but have him play guitar in our band? <laughs> Not sing. <laughs> that would be fucking crazy, dude. If we started a band with Tillian. <laughs> by the way where we, where's our first live stream gonna be where we're, we're gonna do a live stream concert on rumble where yeah and i i don't think we could start a band with him i'm on record i'm on record many a time going he did those things <laughs> yeah. andy what 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 we're perfect <laughs> yeah what are, we, what are we perfect people come on yeah. Andy. we all make mistakes uh, multiple times uh <laughs> assaults are, are mistakes right isn't that what we they always have <laughs> hell yeah dude um 